Hi, my name is Cole Bennett. I'm owner-operator of Weiss Manufacturing. We build bikes in Brooklyn, New York. This is the gravel bike we brought to the MV Builder Roundup. This is our model called the Gravel SL. This is an integrated carbon seat mast that we've mated with our 7000 series aluminum frame. Uh, this carbon tube is actually something we developed with Envy to our specs. The asymmetrical drive side is something that started with our track bikes for increased stiffness during sprints and is carried through to our new gravel models like you see here. Um, we also have a drop stay with a yoke that gives you good chainring clearance and also enables you to run pretty short chain stays and very large tires. Right now I'm running 650 by 50 uh, tires, but it can also run 700 by 45s. So uh, this is a T47 bottom bracket and we got some uh, EE wings cranks in there. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Cole from Weiss Manufacturing. You can find us at www.weissmfg.com or on Instagram. Check us out. Mariposa Bicycles of Toronto, Canada. Check them out at mariposabicycles.ca. Founded in 1969, Mariposa continues to be a family-run business specializing in lugged and fillet brazed steel frames. The building technique hasn't changed over the years, but the materials are now available for a lighter and better riding frame. This show bike is designed for lightweight adventure bike packing. Utilizing Columbus tubing, it's made for long rides or multi-day trips with a dynamo hub to run lights and charge devices. In addition, it features an NV adventure fork, AG25 wheels, and can accommodate fenders. Scarab Cycles of Antioquia, Colombia. If I messed up the pronunciation, I apologize. Check them out at scarabcycles.com. The Apuna, which means path, was designed around a road platform, but with big tire capacity. It features oval steel tubing and an NVAR fork, creating a solid and reactive platform, keeping the unrivaled compliance of steel tubes. The new Jungler paint scheme is to show the natural abundance in a powerful way. Jungler is an interpretation of density, diversity and deepness of the Chicoan jungle.
Sklar bikes of Bozeman, Montana. Check them out at Sklar, S-K-L-A-R, bikes.com. Specializing in dirt-focused titanium and steel bikes, Sklar offers both fully customized bicycles and three non-custom geometry built-to-order models. This bike joins the Sweet Spot Trail Hardtail and PVJ Touring Bike as the Super Something, a versatile gravel and light touring bike that can be set up with gears, single speed, big tires or small, drop bars or risers. This makes it a true all-rounder. Spooky Cycle Works of Arizona. Check them out at wearespooky.com. The Rover is a race-inspired gravel bike that will take you beyond the ordinary. An entirely new platform with wide tire capacity designed with versatility in mind. Whether it's smooth gravel or a seat drop a single track, the Rover will get you places. The continued development of wide group set innovations has inspired Spooky to utilize the 73 millimeter bottom bracket as a new frame standard. Through extensive testing, they've found this configuration is ideal for achieving pure gravel adventure needs and overall function without compromising performance. Rock Lobster Cycles of Santa Cruz, California. Check them out at rocklobstercycles.com. What started as a hobby in 1978 became a full-time job after a decade of figuring out how to build a great frame. This is the latest team bike, the World Cup, and it's not a hypothetical name because a bike just like this was ridden in the UCR races in France, Belgium, Spain, and the Netherlands, including several World Cup venues. Speedwagon of Portland, Oregon. Check them out at speedwagon, V-A-G-E-N.com. This custom Speedwagon rugged road is the personal bike of Erica, Speedwagon's customer and service expert. Featuring their brand new 2021 Surprise Me paint scheme and signature fit philosophy.
Tommy Cycles of Austin, Texas. Check them out at Tommy, that's T-O-M-I-I, cycles.com. Nao Tommy crafts handmade custom-built frames from his Tommy Cycles workshop in Austin, Texas. His experience comes from fine art and sculpting quote sculptures that i can custom build as a beautiful bicycle for my customers is always my number one goal the process is spiritual now says adding to build bikes i have to be happy Falconer Cycles of Quincy, California. That's Falconer. Check them out at Falconer, F-A-L-C-O-N-E-R, cycles.com. Cameron Falconer takes a straightforward utilitarian approach to his TIG welded steel frames. This particular build is a coaster brake dirt road roller inspired by the 1890s pneumatic tire safety bikes. The front rack is the most unique part of the build and is made from two pieces of titanium sheet metal designed to carry a sleeping bag. Low Bicycles of San Francisco, California. Check them out at lowbicycles.com. Aluminium or aluminum specialist Andrew Lowe brings the MK Disc Road, which is available in 11 sizes. The San Francisco-based builder brings race performance to his aluminium frames through thoughtful shaping to achieve the right quality and aesthetics that distinguish low bicycles. Pine Cycles of Salt Lake City, Utah. Check them out at pinecycles.com. Launched at the 2021 Envy Builder Roundup, the Rosa from Pine Cycles is one of the most versatile bikes of the show and can accommodate a range of wheel and tire sizes in addition to single speed or geared configurations. Additionally, the steel frames are available in stock sizes.
English Cycles of Eugene, Oregon, check them out at EnglishCycles.com. Rob English is an innovator, and after 14 years as a builder, he is renowned for his unique designs. This Aero Road bike is no exception and goes for a sleek look, but rather than going for a full front-end wire and hosing integration, Rob created a single integrated design using a down tube reconfigured for the head tube. The rest of the frame's construction is custom butted in-house to achieve the sought-after ride characteristics and weight goals. And this bike wraps up the NV2021 Builder Roundup. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching these three videos containing these beautiful bikes. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for content such as this, gravel bike reviews, product reviews, ride experience videos, and other madness as all of it is released to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.